Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I'm about to bring you all some news that um, no one is going to be surprised to hear at all because we've been seeing a certain thing happen um, across the world for as long as I can remember. It's a recurring theme where you have a certain group of people who is always taking something from Africa. So anyway, the Africans are saying, look, stop stealing our gold. Enough is enough. And we are, we, we're putting a stop to this. So I'm going to be sharing with you a video um, where Ethiopia has actually seized some gold that was smuggled from Niger. Uh, they're saying that it's worth um, roughly $100 million and it was headed to Dubai. But uh, they're like, no, this, this isn't going to happen. So anyway, let me go ahead and roll that video for you. Uh, there's no audio to it. It's just um, actually the showing um, of the gold in question. And it's a lot of it worth over $100 million. So you have people always coming to the continent of Africa uh, thinking that they can just take whatever they want and they help themselves to it, right? They help themselves to it as if they have a right to it, right? Look at all of this gold. That is a lot of gold. And again, who do you think you are to where you believe that the Africans don't have a right to it, but you could just swoop in and claim it? Well, again, Ethiopia seized that goal. They seized it. It was worth over $100 million, and I applaud them for that. So let's take a look at some of the details of the story. It says, Ethiopia seizes gold smuggled from Niger. Wow, it seizes the gold. Local media reported that the confiscated gold has no official backing to legalize the means by which it was obtained mm, 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 and its owners. They don't have a legal way to show this. So it was reported that some 100 people from different official institutions attached to the Naomi, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, Naomi Airport, uh, from where the metal was shipped, were dismissed from their functions as a preventative measure. In recent years, Niger's government has authorized permits for the prospecting of minerals uh, with an investment of $232 million, including gold, coal, uh, manganese, lithium, and copper. Specialized sources said this on Wednesday. And so, um, I think it's high time that Africa um, starts tightening up a bit and stop allowing these Euro nations and these other um, multinational corporations to come in and just rob the resources uh, from the continent. Um, People are always talking about how poor Africa is and looking at the people and all of this. Well, if uh, they would begin to manage their resources um, better, uh, working more with other uh, continent um, presidents, or should I say uh, other African leaders versus people outside of Africa, what would happen if you had South Africa, Ghana, um, Madagascar, Nigeria, Ethiopia, I mean, so many nations in Africa. What if they begin to work together? All of these countries there, and I'm pretty sure some have more than others. Kenya, come on now. Now I know the, the Northern regions have been taking, taken over like Egypt and Morocco and areas like that. But um, what if even all of these countries in Africa began to work together and keep the French president out, the Belgium, 
the United States and all these other Western nations? What if they kept them out of their business and they began to work together? Because the resources and the wealth is there. It is definitely there. But um, I think that's a hard lesson because someone shared something with me the other day and I wasn't surprised, but I was very disappointed still. Uh, they were talking about how this one particular um, Caucasian um, chick, she said when she went over there to Africa, you know, she was kind of shortened on the heavy side. Uh, but in the video, she was, you know, uh, talking about how they treated her like royalty when she got there. She's just visiting, right? And a lot of the commenters were saying that um, they give that royal treatment to Europeans, but they do not give that to other black people visiting from other uh, parts of the world. Even within the continent, you can have someone coming from one country going to another country in Africa, and they don't get that royal treatment because of this massive spirit of xenophobia that they have on the continent. I really wish we can get over that major hurdle because it's really sad when you see um, someone of another race say that they are treated like royalty and then you have you have testimonies. There was one sister talking about her the treatment that she received in Tanzania. Some call it, some uh, pronounce it Tan Tanzania, but um, she was talking about how they acted like they did not want her there. They were very unwelcoming to her and uh, they treated her a certain way. Now that's really sad to hear. Now I would like to say this, I know that not every African is that way. I know some of them do treat us when we come over um, very, very kindly, very, very sweet. So I don't wanna say that this is the whole continent, but I really don't like to hear the testimonies of uh, those who do go there and are not treated with the same kind of respect that is given uh, to the other nations, the Euros, the Asians, and all of these other nations. I don't like that. That should not even be, that should even be a part of our conversation to where we can't treat each other right, but somebody else you give the royal treatment to. Anyway, back to this story here. Um, Africa, many countries in Africa are tired of their resources being stolen. Here they're like, stop stealing our gold. It's not going anywhere. They seized it. And hey, let's see where this story ends up because it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say. But um, anyway, they stopped it before it headed out to Dubai, in which I'm glad to hear of that because folks shouldn't be able to just come on the continent and take what they want anyway. As a matter of fact, things that have been taken, old artifacts from, that are thousands of years old, should be returned back to the people of Africa. They have no business in European museums. They just don't belong there. Anyway, I'm done with this video. Thank you all for joining me. On to the next video. I am out. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.